Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Prince Feuer and I'm your host today. Welcome to City Skyline's Sunset Harbor DLC. Our city new fire gulf. Um, if you have a suggestion for a better city name, um, please write it in the comments below. Um, I, will, I will consider a new city name. Um, I can change it in the thumbnail, so no problem there. And uh, yeah, please, if you like these videos, give me a like, share it with your friends. If you want to support me further, uh, consider subscribing on Facebook or Patreon. And also subscribe here if you want to get the latest video N notice. Well, <laughs> without further ado, let's get to our city. You will notice, you will notice that the city uh, doesn't look like I built it last time. That's because I'm an idiot and I uh, forgot to save the city when I left the game. <laughs> uh, but I tried to uh, to build what I wanted to build in the first place. Uh, I have kind of the same structure. Um, I was a little more... Um, I considered more the budget we have because that's one of the most common beginner mistakes uh, that you just throw out your money and then you don't have uh, enough money for the basics. So that is dealt with here. I have set all the zones. Um, I have set the zones uh, down. I could point it with my... I, I have the, the residential area down here because I think uh, people would like to live at the beach. Uh, maybe a little bit further in to the beach we can then make... Um, Maybe some kind of park or uh, that resembles a, a beach line or we just make some commercial buildings. Um, so one by one here. I think that would be nice. Um, I also haven't put the uh, power up here. I put two of those things here and uh, one there for the only for the pump. Uh, these households are already complaining that there is no power. I will try to get the power there for now. Um, you see the blue, the blue uh, mark around it, um, which means that. Uh, Everywhere where it's blue, uh, power can be. So I only need to get it from... Uh, I, I wanted to point with my finger, I don't know why. Uh, uh, from here to here. But now there is a building here built and so we can already bulldoze this because power hops over here. As simple as that. Um, but if the city grows from this side, we maybe don't need those power lines up there. But we will see. Okay, let's see how our little little city grows. Um, I have some some custom assets from the Steam Workshop. So if you wonder that you don't recognize a building uh, because you play City Skylines yourself. Don't wonder, um, if you want, I can uh, put a, put up a mod list on Steam and link it in the description, so that you can also play with the same mods. Um, but for now, I think uh, this is fine. Uh, at the beginning, I always try to throw in some commercial in between the houses, like your local grocery store, I guess. Um, this generic industry will be uh, temporary. Oh, and I, I forgot to do the budget. Um, 
The budgets are very handy, especially at the beginning, because uh, it reduces your expenses. And also for the budget... Oh, we can't make taxes now. Make building historical. What? You can now make any zone building historical to preserve its visual appearance. Okay, that's cool. So they upgrade. Um, what's the problem with the sewage? There's no problem. What are you talking about, people? What's our power consumption at the moment? Why is our power fluctuating? <laughs> I'm not sure. You output 2 megawatts. You should output 8. Okay. Have they changed how wind works in the game? Maybe. Maybe they reworked it. Okay. Uh, then we will have a slight power issue, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, no, well, not yet. Oh, because of the budget. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay. Let's set the electricity budget at 75%. I guess the, then the, the issues will be gone for now. So a good strategy at the beginning. You see we have a plus of 290 uh, cities, skylines, dollars. I, d I don't know what this currency is about. Um, and the best way to do that at the beginning is you need a little industry that uh, needs to try try to not combine it with your residential area they don't like the polluted polluted area around those and the uh, noise <laughs> oh this tur this turns out pretty nice isn't that very nice I like that a lot. Sometimes it's a shame when when the game picks the same building uh, side by side, but well, it is what is it, uh, what it is. And we have reached a little hamlet. From this stage on, we need to uh, deal with. We can uh, take loans and uh, adjust the taxes. And we need to deal with garbage, healthcare, and education. And we get the proper buildings for this. Um, so this this elementary boat boat chester is is just a custom custom one, for example. Looks very nice, a very British look and feel. Um, I combined uh, in my in my mods the building styles a little bit, so maybe it won't be a very um, homo homogeneous um, city. But I, I like that if it's not too too tidy, I guess. Let's let's set this to a hundred percent for now. And the taxes, you almost always can get away with 12%. That's the sweet spot where the demand isn't declining too much. Uh, okay, like I wanted to say, this um, industry area will be temporary. We will, uh, when we can expand out here on the right and there right at the um, highway I will make forestry industry on this side and farming industry because this uh, this 
lighter ground is fertile ground and I think there would be it would be nice to have there are some some really nice farms and this will be our industry for for the beginning for the city and I should uh, should not pause the whole thing because if I pause it then it won't build anymore Oh, and and we got a little uh, a little more budget, sure, uh, for for the little Hamlet, Hamlet, Hamlet. We're English people. I am obviously not, but Hamlet is the word. Okay. So we need to take care of the garbage. Preferably, I mean, <laughs> I could put the garbage uh, dump just in the middle of our industry zone industrial zone but if you look at this um, skyline I mean it's bad enough that there are industry buildings but if you put there a dump in the middle of it which is very present I don't like this uh, this thought so I will just it here for now so the garbage trucks are on the way nice oh uh, we need Square to packages. the packaging specialists are proud to give to them a little a medical clinic the untold story of the invention of the box and um the i hope that the radio in the background isn't too loud and irritating and I like it a lot, of shipping and packaging that mankind but has ever known. Um, if it irritates you, I will just. Um, you have to look I will just turn box. it off. And into another box. Because that's, house, that's not. Home. And that truly is mm. the greatest Let's make box here a little clinic. I guess. Every Wednesday at eight. That's for this nice. Once in a week time television event, a box on both your houses, presented by Square Packages, the packaging specialists. Um, yeah, and at we're making making money at the moment. Awesome. Things. Tree things, we have things, very much demand for residential, so you need to keep your um, your demands down. They're balanced. Uh, if they want industry and you build industry, then they will want more residential because people know there's work for them, etc., etc. To donate a bird bath to 30 birdies. Um, you can either be part of the problem or you can be with us. The Forest Foundation. I think from there we could make a little road just up here, I guess. Hi, Let's do that real Tony quick. A shame for, for the people that studio. built this house yes, there. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, your house is in the way. Cool. Let's Very just. Built a little road up there. Have you ever noticed how everything is fifty shades okay. of gray these days? Um, and we can just Henry Ford was telling bulldoze this. Any color um, car, as long as I need to check my traffic manager options. I'm sorry. Uh, where is it? Ah, traffic manager. Press it. Presidential edition, I think, is the PE. Um, I just want to see. Oh, okay. I okay. I want to simulation accuracy. This is very heavy on CPU. So if your if your system isn't that great, please don't put put it too high. Um, let's make it medium for now because I don't want to have any issues. You can have reckless drivers, I, I want them. I disable despawning because if you have a traffic jam, the game usually tries to despawn um, some vehicles so that the traffic flow isn't too disturbed. Uh, but I like a little challenge with managing the traffic in a way that uh, this isn't necessary. Uh, the advanced vehicle AI is very uh, handy because sometimes uh, the, the AI has a very uh, bad habit of changing 
lanes unnecessarily. Um, <laughs> more realistic parking, sure. Unnecessary public transport, sure. Yeah, I, I guess that was that. That were the main points I wanted to. Seems like the designer mafia has got the modern. Uh, also, this this road design here, here is. Absolutely time. custom. It's like permanent twilight, folks. Classy, but so depressing, let's right? just put Here's some chill vibes more residential here, I guess. Sky. And somewhere in between, we will set Coast Radio. one or two little stores, I guess. Let's put them here. Uh, can't just override this. And so that the people don't have only this way to get there, we will also expand our our main road up here. Um, yeah, let's do this. So let's expand this main road. Uh, where is it? Pollen Road with a median, nice. And we will just curve this a little bit. Or should we should we have the main road as a straight road, maybe? Sure. Let's keep the main road as straight as we can. let's make I, I like to to shake things up a little bit ah, this this looks awful <laughs> I'm sorry um, maybe like this with this we can work this is a nice little residential area down here where we can make small roads very nice uh, let's use this intersection to connect it up there. I know I will destroy houses everywhere. I'm, I'm already terribly sorry for these people, but it's necessary. So Let's curve it in so that less things get destroyed, maybe. Or not. <laughs> Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just a terrible... Oh, let's do it like this. So only this house gets destroyed. Okay. <laughs> and let's fill this up here. Here. A few more little houses. Very nice. Um, I try to keep the residential, at least uh, the low density residential, because we will get high density, of course. Uh, I will keep them on smaller roads and not on the main road. <clears throat> so now they have here a little... Uh, we maybe should put traffic lights there. I hate traffic lights. Traffic lights are really bad. Maybe we should just... Um, uh, they, they changed how, how traffic manager works. I'm um, sorry. So switch... Ah, switch traffic lights. Okay. Let's put the traffic lights out there and let's just make this the main road and this road should have a stop sign I know we would normally do this with a traffic light but traffic lights in this game are really um, messy sometimes so I try to not mess too much with them so of course We need to supply water. 
everywhere to every building absolutely everywhere okay that's why i built these this way you don't see them they are purely functional i i refuse to put them under the roads um, because you can't curve them it's awful i i'll just supply the area with water and be done with it okay how's our sewage now yeah okay <clears throat> perfect and we're at the 20 minute mark so this time i'll pause this time i save the game directly in the video so i can't mess up again yes i want to save this thank you for watching stay safe stay home uh, like i said please if you have any suggestions for for a city name i take it <laughs> put it in the comments below and uh, never forget live the game <laughs>